What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. It is 6pm on Sunday the 12th of June. Oh, Harold and oh my days, what a mega pack that was. And uh, to my understanding, EA have given us the Conmebol Libertadores promo. So uh, I opened some ultimate packs prior to 6pm with the mega packs in them. And so I'm hoping... Oh, you, damn. All these ex-team of the seasons aren't ultimate team of the seasons, you know? Um, but saying that, the the, uh, the 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 minor team of the seasons are now out of pack. So if we do get a team of the season, it is going to be an ultimate team of the season. But even the ultimate team of the season is not really worth that much anymore because team of the season is dead. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the summer promo. You know, the one where we get like, I don't know, 99 rated cards and like 300 of them. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, we opened up a few packs there. And nothing doing by way of those guys right there, the uh, Libertadores guys. But let's have a look to see if it was fact or cap. All right. So here we go. Objectives. Got some objectives auto complete. Objectives. We have got team of the group stage, Kova. Two star, three star, hopefully not. Really nice dribbling. Really nice physicals. Really nice passing. Great pace, good shooting. Just hopefully they've upgraded his skill moves in week for 20. Score 20 goals. Oh, another swap token in there. Score using Argentinian players in 12 separate matches. Win 10 matches in any foot game mode with seven Libertadores players in your starting squad. Play 15 games. And this is with through ball five times. The Ultimate Cup is there. Win one. Let's have a look what the Ultimate Cup is going to be. Lone players, max one. Max chemistry. Yes, please, yay. Um... It's three attempts per day. It's not three minute halves. It is max chemistry, which is fantastic. Uh, one for an 80 plus rare figs. Two, the same. Three for a player pick of 80 plus from Prem or oh, Effigs as well. Uh, another player pick of Effigs and another one for five wins and another one for six and for seven. Eight matches for a team of the season player pack. Very nice indeed. Nine matches for a premium goal players pack. Ten for a mega pack. Eleven for a mega pack. Twelve for another team of the season player pack. Thirteen for a prime goal players pack. Fourteen for a prime goals players pack. And uh, the whole set for a 50k pack. Do you know what? That's really nice. Max chemistry as well. I like that a lot. Um, now, we've also got, for the first time in about seven years, here... As domestic football comes to a close, it's time to shine a light on the leagues that enthralled us last season long. All season long, sorry. It's time to pick a side, dominate the pitch, and take your league to, to compete at least one team event objective for Liverpool. So it's the same copy and paste. And the Premier League is in there. Cool. Let's go for the La Liga. Why not? Why not? And uh, let's see what the objective is then for La Liga. Team La Liga for a premium election players pack. Assist and score in the same match with a La Liga player. Win five squad battles matches or rivals with five Spanish players. Assist with a La Liga player and score three as Spanish players. So pretty boring. And then in milestones, Serie A Cup still there. Silver Stars still there. Nothing new. Let's have a look at the SBCs for the day, guys. And we have got nothing in icons. Now, because it's Libertadores, maybe, maybe, just maybe they've... No, no mind. Um, right, let's do team of the season first. Oh, nothing. Fair enough. Let's do live. So it should be on this page here. Yes. Conmebol Guillermo Berdiso. One segment needed. Two star, three star, six foot two, medium high work rates, power header and team player. Insane physicals. Very good defending. Very good dribbling for a centre back. Good pace. Pop a shadow on him. You've got yourself an absolute beast of a centre back at six foot two as well. Uh, oh, Schmelzer's um, end of an era card is here as well. Three star, three star, medium high is nice. Pace is nice. Dribbling is actually really nice for a fullback. So is his defending and physical. So is his passing. His vision's a bit low, but otherwise his passing is real good. He's got team player trait as well. Two segments for him. An 83 with the team of the season and an 86. I don't, I don't think it's as good as an Insigne. Um, it's obviously a bit cheaper than Insigne. He's got some good links as well. I, th I, th I just think he's better suited as a centre-back, you know? Just pop an anchor on him, play him at centre-back. Happy days, medium-high work rates. How tall is he? 5 foot 11, maybe not. 
Um, how long are they all there for? 30 days? Yeah, nice. Very nice from EA. So, uh, Guillermo Bradiso, guys, is going to cost an 84 rated with an Argentinian and 60 chemistry. Nice and cheap. You don't mind it. Was there anything else in there today? Icon Moments player pick is back. Looks like it was a back yesterday. 288s, 289s again. For me, just a little bit too spenny. But let's go and have a look then at what the team was. At whom the team was. We have got Schmelzer, Berdiso and Cover, the objective SBC cards. So Schmelzer has been upgraded massively. 3 star, 3 star, 5, 11. I genuinely think, guys, an anchor. Yeah, look at that. A 98 centre back. An anchor on him. What more do you need? Max pace. Basically max defending apart from heading accuracy. Max physicals apart from stamina. Great passing out of the back. Great long shots should you ever need it. And really good uh, defending. Other than his height. Um, I think that Schmelzer, especially if you're playing 3 at the back or 5 at the back. I think that Schmelzer is primed for an outside centre back spot. I think that's really, really good to be fair. Really good card. Uh, we've also got Radiso's not there yet for some reason. We've got Kova. Um, so he is four star, three star, which is a bit terrible. This is such a good card, but because of the four star, three star, it's just pointless. A maestro on him, superb. Maybe a marksman on him, superb. Either way, th this is a cool card for an objective card. The league's con I just don't like the fact it's four star, three star. It's like, come on, EA, it's June, you know? It's June. Uh, but Diso, still not there. We'll have to go back to him. Then for the actual team, we have got Rodriguez, Plata, and Sornosa. So Rodriguez, Jesus Christ, four star, four star, high medium work rates. What on earth is that for a card? That is an outrageously good card. Defending is unbelievable. Physicals need a little bit of work depending on where you're going to play him. His sprint speed is not the best, but his shooting is fantastic. His passing is superb. His dribbling is superb. Like, pop an anchor on him. What a DM that is. Four star, four star as well. What an absolutely insane player that is. Anderson Platter, right mid. Three star, four star. Okay, that sucks. Um, pace is obviously superb. You have to give him a maestro to boost that reactions up. He's not the best. And there's a reason why he's 30k already. Junior Sornosa. Four star, four star on him. Great pace. Good shooting. Great stam. Jumping's up there as well. He's five foot seven, mind you. A maestro on him. And again, what a great card that is. Short passing, long passing, and vision, all 99. Shot power, long shots, 99. Dribbling superb. Stamina, 99. Defensive awareness, 95. What a guy. Um, not, not a bad card there, to be fair. We've got Patino, Godoy, and Catalan. Is Bradiso there yet? Nope. Um, so Patino, he looks short, doesn't he? I'm going to guess and say he's like 5'9". He's 5'11". Um, 50 dribbling is going to make him bad. You pop a shadow on him. It, yeah, his passing's not great. Not that you need shooting, but his passing is not great. He's going to be another, like, yeah, he's 16k already, obviously. Uh, Godoy, the right back. Three star, three star. Yeah, he's not really that great either, to be fair. With a shadow, physically nice. Passing is not the best. Dribbling is very nice. With a shadow, pace and defending then is very good. There's just a hundred better cards out there than that. Catalan. Uh, 28k. 28k, two star, two star, five foot eight. What? Oh my days. He's got high low work rates for a centre back that's five foot eight. I'm confused, man. Yeah, his passing's terrible. His dribbling's not the best either. Defensively, physically, and pace wise, he's very good, but he's two star, two star, five foot eight with high low work rates as a centre back. I'm confused. He, he, he confuses me. Uh, we have got Torres, Roche, and Le Tora. Ler Tora. Torres, three star, three star. Doesn't cut the mustard. Sentinel on him. And again, you know, these, these guys are okay. They're not superb. He's probably already dirt cheap. Yeah, under 20k as well. Roche is the goalkeeper, so no one cares. And Ler Tora. 
three star three star and again how much is he yeah he's already 35k just don't care don't care i mean he's got good stats to be fair you know good dribbling good passing good pace uh great defending great physicals probably better suited as a center back even though five nine and then last but not least the big two alvarez and benedetto is Bradiso going to come up now no um i tell you what guys this rodriguez this card for me is the one man that is a really good card um benedetto guys four star skill moves five star weak foot very good stats maybe even an engine on him you know max pace boost up that dribbling nicely boost up that uh passing very nice physicals very good shooting could even give him a hawk insane pace defending and physical five for ten four star four star quality card the only downside to him is the medium medium work rates otherwise that is a fantastic card and then last but not least julian alvarez five star skill moves four star weak foot high medium work rates short and lean body type yeah i mean jesus man Pop a marksman on him or a maestro on him that is an unreal card might, might even go for like a finisher to boost that positioning as well i don't know it depends what you want really that's an unreal card that is a really 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 nice card so let's have a look at the price points of some of these SBCs if they're there. Bradiso is coming in at 200,000. That can't be right. No, it's an 84 rated squad. It's not right. It's not 200,000 coins. It's nowhere near 200,000 coins. Uh, Schmelzer is massively upvoted. Which I like because yeah, he is a really good card. The Icon Moments pick is downvoted because it's terrible. Um, and yeah, Bradiso is there. I mean, he's just not 195k. I don't know why people are... There must only be one challenge there. Yeah, I, I, I'm not quite sure why you would put a team like that in there. Anyway, I don't know. Um, he's going to come in nice and cheap. You know, like 40k, 30k, something like that. Um, it's, a, it's an alright card, but it's a centre-back. You know, so it's whatever. Let me know what you think about these guys down below, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video. I'm out. Peace.